What's going on everybody? It is Josh from Baseball Lifestyle here and welcome back for another MLB recap. In fact, it is the last MLB recap of the 2020 season. Next week, we're going to hit you guys with a playoff breakdown and a bunch more cool content. So be ready for that. We'll see you next week for that one. But until then, let's get started with our recap for this week. And of course, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. We really appreciate all the support and it helps us make great content for you guys. It was a very exciting week in baseball. We're going to get right into it with some pitcher news. If you haven't been watching the MLB season at all, you probably don't know that Shane Bieber is on an absolute tear since day one of the season. In fact, he might do something that hasn't been seen in the MLB since 2006 or in Cleveland since 1940. He has the opportunity to win the American League Pitchers Triple Crown, which means you have the most strikeouts and the most wins with the lowest ERA in the American League. And right now, as long as Garrett Cole and Taiwan Walker do not win their starts this week, he will get the Triple Crown. Up next in Pitchers news, we're talking Trevor Bauer. The guy's been absolutely shoving the rock and he's trying to make a really strong case to win that Cy Young. He's got a 173 ERA, two complete game shutouts and 100 strikeouts. He's making a very strong case this season. Uh, we'll see if they uh, they choose him over the two-time Cy Young winner, my personal favorite, Jacob DeGrom. Win for the Reds. Strike three call. Fastball right at the knee. Up in the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Bauer. And two strikes. Struck him out. 1-2 again. See you later. Struck him out. Up next, we're talking Garrett Crochet, White Sox, a new rookie pitcher who made his Major League debut last week. What's crazy about this is he was drafted in 2020. It's the first time someone was drafted and brought up in the same year since 2014. Crochet's an absolute stud. I'm honestly so psyched that they brought him up so quickly. I think he deserves it. He's a lefty, throws 101 with a nasty slider. Total beast. There's no reason he should be in the minor leagues. He's got major league quality stuff. And it was dope that he made it up so quick. And they realized, like, hey, we got this real talent here. Let's just bring him up. Let's just see how he does. They already clinched a division. Let's just get him some innings. And he did not disappoint. So you get drafted right in the first round. And then you say, well, I'll go through the minor leagues. Then I'll make it to the majors at some point, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon is a couple months later for young Garrett Crochet. This is interesting. I, with that upper body. 100 strike three. He couldn't think this is a better year in his whole life. The dream come true. 0-2, oh, fast. One of my personal favorite players of all time, Yadier Molina, added another notch to his Hall of Fame belt this week, hitting his 2,000th career hit. Absolute legend. Here it is. 2-2 two -two pitch. Molina serves it into right center. There it is. Hit number 2,000. For Yadier Molina, the 12th catcher in the history of Major League Baseball with 2,000 hits. One of the greatest ever to put on a Cardinals uniform. And there it is, hit number 2,000 for Yadi. All right, next up, and I can't even believe I'm saying this. Uh, someone broke into Miller Park, the home of the Brewers, and uh, was cruising around, just, just walking around the stadium, no care in the world. Uh, and he found the keys to one of their tractors, one of their John Deere like tractor front loader guys, um, and took it for a joyride on the field and ripped it up, causing $40,000 worth of damage. Take a look. Yeah, Joyce, you mentioned $40,000 worth of damage. That's the estimate. But that amount of damage caused in just over eight minutes when somebody simply walked through an unlocked door. 911, operator 35, where's your emergency? Hi, um, I just called from Miller Park um, about a gentleman on the field. Yes. Um, that situation has escalated. That escalation is this joyride on the field inside Miller Park. He now has a tractor that he's driving around on the field and he's like tearing the field up. Miller Park's security team had already called police when they first spotted the man that morning, then called back when he emerged from right field riding a tractor. Yeah, I do have the officers in route, but now he's driving. Look, is it like a, a tractor? Do you think? It's like a front loader tractor. It's like a John Deere tractor, yeah. I'm assuming they didn't they left the keys in it or something because obviously this isn't normally an issue so um so yeah he went out to the field saw a tractor sitting there jumped on it now he's driving around for eight and a half minutes cameras followed the man as he rides ripping apart the field causing an estimated forty thousand dollars in damage he only stops when the tractor appears to get stuck just behind the mound but how did he get in 
Rewind the tape and you'll see the same person outside the park pulling on several doors before he finds one unlocked and makes his way right out onto the field. So this week, Josh Donaldson gave the twins a team gift. He hooked them up with matching twins robes. Absolute drip. Okay, they are some of the cleanest things I've ever seen. Such a dope gift from a veteran player. And not only did they come out really good, but <laughs> they made the most of them. Nelson Cruz took the opportunity to rock it on his off day in the dugout, and it became a phenomenon. After every player that hit a home run, because of course, that day, as soon as they get the robes, they just start hitting bombs. Dinger after dinger after dinger. Started with Byron Buxton, Mitch Garver, crazy, all just raking. And... It turned into the home run rope. You know, we got the turnover chain and we got the home run rope. Now, personally, I'm a fan of the home run rope. I think it is such a clean concept, dope, super fire. You get, you hit your dinger, you come back in, you're like, huh, thank you very much. Put the robe on, super clean. And uh, yeah, they made the most of it. It's, it was his, uh, it was Josh Donaldson's gift to the team as they go into quarantine for the playoffs. Sporting a little playoff swag tonight, courtesy of Josh Donaldson. There's some playoff robes that Josh bought for the entire team and support staff. All right, it is now time for the players of the week. Uh, let's get started with the NL. Uh, we actually have two players this week from the same team. They've been going absolutely off, uh, so let's get into it. We have Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger. So what's crazy is they're both batting 474, have two home runs, and five RBIs in 19 at-bats. The exact same. Crazy. But obviously, they're raking. The Dodgers are on top. Best record in baseball. Honestly, I've got them picked to win the World Series. I think they've got a real shot this year. I think I think they've got the pieces. They got Mookie. And I think he's going to be the game changer for them. First pitch from fire. He swings. And a fly ball to center field. And deep. And gone. <laughs> Corey Seager. A six-game hitting streak. His 15th home run of the year. This month. Lifts his ball to right center field. Pilar is on the move. He turns and watches it go just over the wall in right center. Cody Bellinger with a two-run home run. His first extra base hit of September is his 11th. And in the AL, we have Jose Ramirez. He's batting 417 with four homers, 17 RBIs, and an OPS of 1,800. In the bottom of the 10. A swing and a drive to deep right center field. Away, back, and gone. It's a game winner! It's a playoff clincher! And for the fourth time in the last five years, Indians fans, you will have a postseason to remember! Alright guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the recap. We will see you next week for our playoff breakdown. Super psyched about it. I think it's going to be a really cool playoffs this year in the bubble, so we'll see you for that. And until next time, again, make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Later.